The Lucky Pawn, part three. It's dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh, really? What? Bigby's here. Ugh. Why are you never glamoured, Toad? Why is it so hard to just follow the rules? Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again, like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, all right? And anyway, so I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic! So? And it'd be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Hey, wait a minute, that's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place, what do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sighted statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I wanna beat you both up. I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat, I, I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. You know, maybe Snow can help you out. How could Snow help me out? Give you an advance. A loan or something. She's kind of in charge of the business office now. Well, the last guy who was in charge didn't help us much, so forgive me if I don't expect anything different now. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this old bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Og Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Toad? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit? Funny you should mention that, because it's exactly why I'm here. You want a loan? I didn't really. Yeah, I want a loan. Let's go undercover. You do. So give me one. You know, um, I'm sorry, Big B, but I really shouldn't be talking about this with you. You know this is a fucking crooked man place, right? Toad? He uses fancy boys like Jack here to squelch the honest businessman. Force him to lay on credit into servitude. High interest isn't servitude. And nobody's complained before. Toad, listen. Well, I'll <laughs> Toad set the wheels in motion. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off. <laughs> the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Look, I'll, I'll give you some money, all right? You've got to be kidding me. Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've... I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. Oh, damn. If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man, who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either way, I'm getting screwed. Drop by any time. Look, I'm sorry, all right? What else do you want from me? He really grows. Obviously not your money. Came to gloat? Since you had to go and tell on me, I got eight weeks work detail from Snow. She has me fixing leaky pipes. Like I even know what a C-clamp is. And I thought he was stuttering ask, clamp I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Mm-hmm. Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? I'll be asking the questions here, Jack. Okay, fine. Fire away. Because I'm not a mind reader. Tell me about these loans. How do they work? Who collects? Look, people get desperate, and when you're drowning, anything that isn't sinking along with you looks like a life raft. The crooked man gives, and he wants things in return. 
And when you don't pay up, bad stuff happens. Why do you think I've never taken about Crane? A little credit card fraud never hurt anybody. What kind of things does he want in return? Could be anything, from the loan plus interest, family heirlooms, to novelties of a more exotic nature. Like? Magic, memories, parts of you. It's bad. Taking people's memories? Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run it on hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in, so uh... I wanna check stuff out here first. If this is a crooked man place, maybe something here will help me find him. Can't you Shut just... Shut up, Jack. <laughs> Jersey Devil isn't here to answer Shut up, questions. Jack. It also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around. As long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. Reminds me of Chanted my needles. You're not touching anything, are you? Oh, okay then. Crooked ball. Just my luck. What's the anvil? anvil. Blacksmith didn't need it. Haven't seen him around for a while. He might be dead. Isn't this from Crane's apartment? Maybe. I don't know. You didn't go back over there and swipe it. I swear. On Toad's life. Oh my god, he stole it. This is Prince Lawrence's dagger. Who sold this? I don't know. Look, are you almost done? A dagger isn't exactly the axe, so, uh... Who would have done that? One of the Tweedles? Whoever did it must have needed the money bad, which shouldn't come as a total shock. You don't know how hard most of us have it, do you? You, and Grin, and Toad, you're all better off than you think. It was a rhetorical question, but sure, fine. A ring, some bracelets, a trophy, I don't know what that last thing was. He's trying to leave. Cleaving X. I thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? I, I, do, I don't, uh... You're a lying piece of shit, Jack. Oh, okay, come on, Bigby. That wasn't... X was right here all along. Now tell me what happened to it. I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I don't, I don't trust you. Day, so, uh... Oh. What happened to the axe? Okay, okay. Fucking jeez, take it easy. It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. She say anything about... about the crooked man's plans? About Crane? What? You think we're friends? I try not to even look that crazy chick in the eye. Why not? For your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're exactly just gonna... my fucking system. But you... you're the guy who makes sure I'm that... the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Uh-oh. Close the fucking gate. Jack? If you love your axe so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grant said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. It's Jersey, right? Jersey Devil? Christ. And this fucking guy too? Bigby? 
What is Zax even here? Nope, it isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? And you? I can't believe you'd even show your face in here. After what you did to our guy, Tweedledum? So tell me what you're here for, or get the fuck out. Uh, he wanted to know where... Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. You're dealing with me now, okay? Until I give you permission, you're not gonna do anything but answer my questions. I'm gonna punch you square right in the eyes. Mary leaves a bit of a sting, don't she? Jack. Did you know that as of this very morning, Bigby's joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for Wayward Fucking Creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the Crooked Man snapped his bony fingers, and Bigby handed him over, just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two, you know. Go fuck yourself, Jersey. <laughs> Look at Jack. Uh-oh. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. Strange Jersey. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? <laughs> wow, weak That's punch. It? You fuck me. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Ooh. Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. This ain't gonna go like... Oh my god, just stabbed into the pincushion. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. Ooh, you mutate. What the fuck is that? It's like something straight out of Diablo. Nice kick. Field goal kick. Nice. Nice counter. Oh. Grab his antler. Grab it. Rip it off. Oh. God, that's his bad arm. Hey, asshole. I found The game boo. Oh, my God. Should be dead. Oh, my God. Can I question him now? So, want to try again? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots, behind the sun, in the <coughs> shadows. 
That's not good enough. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror. Okay, that's Crane's way. How do you contact him? Oh, I don't. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens, oh, goblins, the fucking Tweedles. Whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. No clue about who was really running this town. Let's stomp him. Oh! The next thing you say better be something useful. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. The cut if above. I find the mirror piece there. I can find the crooked man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. Now leave me. <laughs> That's where the so magic happens. Find some aspirin. Oh, oh. He ain't going anywhere. You better not be fucking with me, or I'll come back here and finish the job. You got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Shut him up. Oh. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Really? <laughs> don't talk about Lily like that in faith. Out of smoke. How nice. They're now friends. Thanks. Shitty brand. People hate my brand cigarettes, man. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? It's my job. I'll get him. All right. We'll go do it then. You want to come and help? Hey, Woody. Yeah? What are you gonna do now? We all got our role to play, Wolf. I'll see ya. That's interesting. Off we go.